Marawa, what's up, la? So, unfortunately, as you can see, we still have an error. And the build process was successful, but the deploy process was unsuccessful. And if you, I mean, here at the end, you exactly see what the error message is. Something with permission. So basically what you can do is just copy, paste this, and you will get the first tag overflow link looks very promising. And you can read, read through it and there's some explanations, but to be honest, here's exactly what the thing, what we need. It's exactly this command to enable some permissions. So let's do this on our machine. So let's open a terminal. Let's SSH again. Good, passphrase, so. Now we are logged in. Now we can, okay, paste the command. Now let's press the enter uh, key. It asks for the password, enter the password. Press enter and that should be it. Um, yeah, the yeah the permissions should be set now right now as you can see. And one more thing, but when we are logged in on our machine, let's test something or let's look up something. Let's let's list all running processes. Oh, as you can see. We already have here something running on 1990. This is all the node backend um, message. Um, yeah, if you just go back to your browser, to one of your browsers, open up, just type in, for me it's task meso. As you can see, we have here, if we type the proper URL, task minus manager dot .ai, then automatically slash, it redirects to slash API, and here is something running. But here should our Spring Boot application on this port be running. So let's kill this process. Let's type sudo kill minus nine. And then we need the uh, ID, the pit. So this is one eight, one eight, eight, six. Enter. List again the processes here. And as you can see, only front end. The front end it should should still be running. Let's refresh the browser. As you can see, it fails by bad gateway. Just type amazo.ai and we are the front end is still running like we see here. Okay, now let's exit, clear the screen. And now we can go back to our pipeline. And here, let's say rerun jobs but we only want rerun failed jobs. Let's press this, it will say deploy project. Let's rerun this job, yes. As you can see, build was already successful, this stays successful, and now the deploy, deploy project job should start soon, hopefully. Sometimes the UI freezes. Um, yeah, we already got the uh, notification here in Slack. So this is our notification, the node deployment started. So God will, inshallah. So, and this one, and now it's using the SSH agent and will connect and then hopefully it will deploy. Let's see, I mean, then the still docker compose commands come in handy. Let's see, now it's already finished. Nice, Latif, well, nice, nice, nice. Actions, as you can see, this is all finished. And here you see, okay, both jobs were successful. Now, if we go back to our browser, front end is still running. Okay, let's say task minus manager dot ai. Ah, don't, don't, don't be now confused because it's white error page because this is from uh, Spring Boot, but this means Spring Boot is already running. Okay. Just now go to, let's clear, 
just close everything in controller you see the proper url uh task controller con ah that's the controller okay this should be our url and if we call this we should already get to get all tasks i mean i was already just remove this say this copy paste say enter and as you can see everything is running but here to show it you more properly let's paste it here in the chrome the dav the json view a plugin installed in the chrome browser as you can see we have our endpoint and yeah and you can now test some things you can add things like here when you just type open i mean this task is already open as you can see this task open is true but if you say it's closed let's it should be empty as you can see it's empty and if you just look for all tasks what happened now okay the slash at the ending was just an error okay and that should be basically it if you now want you can also connect again to your uh, Linode server let's connect again passphrase And remember, you can, if you don't want to type in the passphrase, just go to your SSH folder on your local SSH folder and type SSH minus add and add the private key and then enter the passphrase. And then you don't have to type in again the passphrase as long as you're logged in, of course, as long as your machine is not turned off. So let's look for the comments. Uh, ah, this one. List again everything. It will ask for my password, copy paste enter and here we have it running and as you can see it's a docker proxy so that's nice docker ps i hope you s i will make it now full screen hope you see everything here we have the container id it says task minus api minus youtube latest java jar uh three minutes ago it was started status it's up since three minutes and he, here you see the port mapping for for the local server and for um for docker and here the names backend and that's basically it that's all i had to show you um yeah we are finished with the tutorial series uh there will be after this video one more video the last video of this tutorial series that should give you an outlook and to explain you some changes i have made and that should be it but this is the the operational part is op over and yeah just watch the next video to, to see some changes i make and to give you an outlook for the next tutorial series what, what is coming hopefully soon inshallah <laughs> so see you in the next video